we're going to be looking at how Christabel, an Instagram influencer, had a plastic surgery that went wrong and she lost her life in the process. Hi guys, welcome to Matters Arising TV. On the agenda today, we're going to be talking about plastic surgery in Nigeria and how a lot of young girls are losing their lives in the craze for Brazilian butt lifts, um, fat augmentation and all the things that they do these days. Before we go ahead, please like this video. If you are watching on Facebook, like the video, share, tell me in the comment section what city are you watching this video from so I can give you a big hug. So this lady, her friends took to Instagram to share how she lost her life in a, in a popular surgery hospital where they do um plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery in lagos i'm just going to read out what the friends had to say it says i want to bring this to the public a friend just died at this hospital in lagos nigeria a few days ago where she underwent surgery now i'm not against anybody that wants to enhance their body or anything as such is your body life and choice so do what you love but i'm against doctors that claim they have experience abroad come down to nigeria to young people after the surgery she complained of bleeding and the doctors claimed it is normal and it will stop now this is the problem how are you a highly skilled and professional plastic surgeon with experience abroad and someone you finished operating on complained about glee and you said it is normal it will stop neglecting her no care whatsoever are you sick the most annoying part here is this girl died days ago without anybody knowing and the hospital did not find it needful to contact any of her relatives until the few friends who knew she was going for surgery said she's supposed to have been back since days now now they decided to go to the hospital to check on her arriving they offered a letter that her body had been deposited at the mortuary this is sickening now i think the government needs to come into this health system and check the capability of most surgeons and make their own research if they if really they are well-trained surgeons to be able to operate on humans if not their license should be seized and arrest r.i.p christabel the first fame on their page is actually her they have blocked all the comments because her friends were commenting and seeking for justice for days now the hospital has not released any letters on their page about her because they don't want the public to know about it May the soul of the departed rest in peace. You can see from that clip, her friends went to the hospital where she lost her life. And um, they, they, it's a police case now because it's been all over social media. From what the friend posted, um, so there are many issues with respect to this particular case. So the very first issue is that uh, after the the surgery she was bleeding and the doctor told her it will stop and um, then she she lost her life none of her relatives were contacted so so let me first of all talk about the plastic surgery plastic cosmetic scene in nigeria it's been a a hot mess even those that they claim are like top of the top there has been many cases where people have lost their lives on the surgery table i'm aware that there's a form that you need to sign before they conduct these surgeries um consent in case um the person loses their life in the process because they say it's a 50 50 chance and most people sign these things with the way nigeria is a, i don't i don't know i i personally will not be very comfortable doing those type of surgeries in nigeria that's just it i i'm i'm indifferent about people who want to enhance their body like it's not my thing i'm actually indifferent i don't i don't know what the craze is about i don't i don't know whether it's because 
a lot of people grew up watching Dr. 9021. So it's really very prevalent. Now I'm going to do another video on whether or not Nigerians are becoming addicted to plastic surgeries and cosmetic surgeries. So let me just stick with the issue at hand. So the the doctor we don't even know his qualifications we don't know people can just say they did something abroad where is the proof as to that do you get i remember last year there was one lady dr anu i think about two or three people lost their lives and um, just lover then was calling her out everywhere and warning people there's another doctor like they're just what is there any regulation for plastic surgeries and cosmetic surgeries in nigeria or it's just an all commas affair you people i know that people want to look beautiful it's even an investment because i remember there was a particular um i call her celebrity and she is celebrity i don't know but there was some gist when she did hers that she borrowed money to go and acquire her bomb bomb and when she was borrowing the money she told the person with guarantee that once the bomb bomb is set that she will pay back is that how people are crazy about water and flesh because what was inside bomb bomb is water and flesh now and most of these things don't even look nice some of them will look like they've shifted like it's all let me not let me not go out of this video i'm going to talk about that in another video because it's 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 a pandemic right now in nigeria this plastic surgery thing then why would the hospital not contact her family members it just shows that she probably did not write a next of kin you know all this move in silence move in silence thing there are certain things that you should move in silence but there are also things that people should be aware these days now if you are going anywhere it's good to let people know where you are going where you do you understand the case of anything because um in this girl's case now it was the people that she informed that um, she was going for plastic surgery that knew her whereabouts when they couldn't find her after some days you get so excuse me i'm sure that was why the hospital management did not call her now um can we blame the doctor for this i would say yes and no because from what i've been gathering on social media they said she did two procedures she did a breast lift as well as a maintenance for her bum bum because she had earlier had um like she had done something on her she had earlier enhanced her bum bum so are you supposed to do so i'm not a medical person but why do the two at once is it to save money what exactly is it like i feel like that's too um that's too I can't even find the word now. It's too risky to do you get. Let me know in the comment section if you guys um what you guys think. And why did the medical practitioner not advise against that? You see, this craze for money. This I want to make money by all means is what is going to send a lot of people to, to their early graves and to needless problems. I don't get it there are some things you just advise there are some things you advise your clients or your customer that oh no we don't we can't do that even if they want to insist because i know that there are some customers that will be like don't worry don't know you are the professional you should say that no we can't do that because of a b c d and e it's very unfortunate what has happened if you want to do surgery go abroad go to turkey a good hospital in turkey go to places where you are assured of good medical care because how can somebody be bleeding after an operation there's no intensive care unit there's just a lot of story things in this story that is just actually disgusting i even saw on their instagram page that they are offering promo and discount for the plastic surgery and i'm like really really <sighs> Anyway, may the um, soul of the departed rest in peace. And I pray that her friends and family get the closure that they need. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.